remembering is holy and sacred work. When we remember, it's a way of giving thanks unto God. It's a way of expressing gratitude. And so this Memorial Day weekend, we set aside as a time to pause our busy lives and remember. To remember those who lost their lives in war, or those who served the graves that are marked by flags. We pause, we take a day off work so that we can remember. Because sometimes we forget to remember. I'm Rick Blunt, pastor at the Okemos Community Church, and I have traveled here to Arlington Hill Cemetery in Bangor, Michigan, my hometown. Uh, this is where I grew up. Bangor is a small community in southwestern Michigan, uh, uh, 10 miles uh, inland from Lake Michigan. Uh, it is the thoroughfare to travel west from Kalamazoo and places to get to uh, South Haven, uh, where many people go on Memorial Day. And I'm here uh, because uh, my sisters and I came to uh, decorate graves. It's a big deal um, in the town of Bangor. Uh, in fact, we used to call it uh, Decoration Day. Uh, as a youth, I wasn't sure what all that meant other than we got to put out the flag at grandmas and grandpas and streamers were uh, woven in the spokes of your bike. Uh, wheels and uh, streamers on the handlebars and maybe wrapped uh, uh, around the handlebars as well as streaming out the end and you could uh, ride your bike in the Memorial Day Parade. That parade was a, a big deal. Um, many people in town would go to uh, my home church, Simpson United Methodist, for a Memorial Day breakfast. Uh, before the parade and the church was just a couple blocks away from the uh, parade route. Often my family would gather on that uh, holiday. My grandma Grace, uh, my great grandma, uh, uh, would be so proud to host a, a table full of uh, her relatives uh, for breakfast. I would remember things like she might have 25 or 30 of us and um, she would say she was going to pay uh, for everyone and then would give a $20 bill and think she had covered it and my uh, Grandpa Leon or Uncle Forey would then go and uh, make a more appropriate uh, uh, donation. Uh, so Memorial Day, this, this is uh, Grandma Grace's um, family uh, plot. It is in the older part of the cemetery. She was a, a fry and uh, her parents are here uh, from the mid-1800s. Off to your left uh, uh, would be my uh, fam, my mother's family plot. Uh, there is my uh, another great grandma and grandpa and my grandparents and my mother and a, a stillborn uh, sister. And just over the crest of this hill is my uh, father's lot where my grandparents uh, are and my father and uh, my Uncle Ed and my uh, Aunt Nancy. Um, and so we come and uh, decorate those graves every year, even though no one in the family lives in this town anymore. It's, it's still our family town. It's kind of like um, when Joseph had to go to Bethlehem, he had to, because he was of the lineage from Bethlehem, you know, Bangor is our hometown, even though none of us uh, live there uh, uh, anymore. You might uh, see uh, on the right side of your screen, there is a 
um, a cannon and uh, two pyramids of cannonballs. The parade would march through downtown Bangor. Uh, M43 would be closed and all of that traffic going to the beach would have to be diverted. Yes, the same M43 that uh, is right near the church in uh, Okemos. Uh, and the band would march out here to where the, the cannon is and you can't see it, but there's a, a small stage there. And there would be a service of remembrance. There would be Usually a student would recite the Gettysburg Address and uh, someone else would speak probably from the American uh, Legion and um, uh, some long-winded pastor would say a prayer. I can say that now as a long-winded pastor uh, myself. And if it was a hot day and the band was in their wool uniforms and had marched uh, several miles to get to the cemetery and were standing uh, waiting to play the uh, national anthem. It, it was not unusual that one of the band members would overheat and faint. And so we had all of those memories. And then after um, uh, the cemetery remembrance, uh, we would go and go to friends often to um, Roy and Mary Lou Wiles' Memorial Day was a big deal for me growing up. How about for you? Families celebrate differently and they have different traditions. What, what did your family do to uh, mark Memorial Day? How did you remember? Do you still go to uh, graves and uh, mark them? Or is that not uh, a big deal uh, in your family? Or maybe you're too far away uh, uh, to actually do that. Maybe, maybe you plant live plants. We opt for silk. How, how do you go about this work, this um, sacred activity of remembering and giving thanks. You know, it's not new to set aside days to remember things. In fact, all holidays are really um, a prompt to have us remember to do something or uh, to remember some event in history or some person. Holy days, holidays, they're set aside to prompt us. Because as E.E. E. Cummings said in uh, one of his poems, for children are apt to forget to remember. Isn't it true? We can get so busy with our lives that we're apt to forget to remember. And remembering is holy and sacred work. And so this weekend we, we pause and this holiday prompts us to remember those who have been significant, important, and influential in our lives. But more than that, prompts us to make a commitment to ourselves to live lives that future generations will look back on and remember the good, remember the difference that we made in their lives and in their world. We celebrate Christmas to remember uh, the incarnation and nativity of Jesus. We celebrate Easter to remember uh, the resurrection. We celebrate Martin Luther King Day to uh, remember him and uh, the battle for civil rights. We celebrate Labor Day to remember the importance of those uh, who do the work uh, in our country. And the list goes on. We celebrate uh, the 4th of July to remember uh, independence. Our holidays are there to prompt us to remember, to not forget 
to remember. It also happened in scripture in biblical times. Well, here in the Old Testament, when they are some significant thing happens, they build a shrine, sometimes just uh, some rocks on top of one another, um, so that when they come by that way, they'll remember it. They remember the Passover and the, the God providing manna, and all of the rituals and the liturgy and the uh, ceremonies are there to help us to remember. I want to share with you some of Jesus' words about uh, remembering. They're some of my favorite words. They're from the 14th chapter of the Gospel of John. I'm not going to take time to read it all, but it is beautiful, and I'd encourage you to pull out a Bible or go online and find it and read all of uh, the 14th chapter of John. Jesus, by this time, um, knows what the future holds for him and that he won't be with the disciples much longer. And he is here preparing them uh, for his death. This is often a passage that I use in funerals. Hear the word of God. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In the house of God there are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. Truly, truly, I say to you, the one who believes in me, the works that I do, they shall also do. And greater works than these shall they do, because I go to my Father. And whatever you ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may be with you forever. That is the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it does not behold him or know him. But you know him because he abides with you and in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. After a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. And because I live, you shall live also. These things that I have spoken to you while I am with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom God will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. And now I have told you before it comes to pass, so that when it comes to pass, you may believe. Holy Spirit will come and bring to your remembrance all that I have said. The promise of God is a promise to remember. We remember Jesus and his promise. And we find comfort and strength in days like this when we, when we confront the reality of death and the loss of loved ones who have meant uh, so much to us. But we lean into the promise of resurrection to eternal life. We give thanks to God on days and weekends like this when we pause to remember and give thanks. But also notice in this passage, it's 
more than just remembering. Jesus makes this awesome statement that those of us who believe in him shall do even greater things than he has done. You see, remembrance is linked with action. What we think in our heads becomes what we do with our hands. We are so grateful in our hearts that we cannot help but serve others. We, we understand that to be a Christ follower uh, is to put God's love into action to feed the hungry, to care for the widow and the orphan, to tend to those who are ill, to clothe the naked, to care for those who are in prison, to welcome the foreigner and the refugee, to love as Jesus loved, to break down the barriers that we often create to divide ourselves from one another, to work for peace, to do the, the hard, long-term work of mercy and forgiveness. When we remember, we give thanks to God for what has been, and we commit to live in the future as those who have been blessed and know that our salvation is secure. This is a day to remember and give thanks. This is also a day to recommit our lives that we might live in such a way that when our day comes to be part of the cemeteries, others will remember us with gratitude and thanksgiving for the, the difference we made, for the influence we were. So take time, whatever your holiday weekend schedule is, take time to pause and remember to do that holy and sacred work and recommit your life to following Christ, to believe that Christ in you will accomplish even more than you can imagine, even more than Christ himself did when he walked on earth. Oh, may it be so. Will you pray with me? Oh, gracious and holy God, we give thanks that uh, you give us the ability to remember. And we pause this weekend to remember those whom we love but see no more. Those who have influenced our lives. Those through whom we saw your love at work. We are mindful of men and women who have uh, sacrificed their lives for freedoms that we too often take for granted. We are mindful of a broken world, O oh God, where there is much despair and much division, where we are polarized from one another and spend time making accusations back and forth. O oh God, come and heal us. Heal us as a nation, heal us as your children. Bring us to that place at your table where we can gather even with our enemies whom you love. We pray for those who continue to battle the pandemic, especially in places where it rages out of control, for those exhausted on the front lines, for those who have lost loved ones, to those who are ill and struggling. We give thanks, O oh God, for the coming of summer, for warm breezes and sunshine, and a pace of life that allows us time to visit 
to be together. We ask that you bless our work, um, that we might indeed reflect you in the world. Bless your church, that it might be a blessing in every corner where it exists. All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this uh, helpful, inspirational. If so, it's appreciated if you hit uh, the like button or if you share it on your social media or send it in an email uh, to someone you know for whom it, it might be a word that touches them. I'd be interested to know in the comments, what are your family traditions around Memorial Day? Did you go to a parade? Do you decorate graves? Do you um, have a picnic? Um, do you visit a cemetery? But what is it? Why don't you share it with all of us? Do know that there will be no virtual fellowship today because of uh, the holiday. Uh, offices are closed on Monday. On Tuesday, the the new pews are scheduled to arrive and uh, installation to uh, begin. And so um, we are getting close to the end of the renovation of our sanctuary. As I'm recording this several weeks in advance, we're still uh, looking at and planning uh, outdoor worship in the month of June. And so uh, look for the details on that on our webpage at okemisocc.org or on our Facebook page. May you go forth into this weekend with joy in your heart, giving thanks for those whom you love, whom you've lost, but who you remember and give thanks for. And may you go forth and recommit your life to living in a way that makes a difference in the world. Go with grace and peace in Jesus' name. Amen.